Yeah, in case you're looking at the lower left-hand corner of the screen, yeah, you are not reading that number wrong. The time period we are in is very different from anything we've been in so far. So with that in mind, greetings people of the world, Matthew back with you here at Novora Autism for the continuation of this blind let's play of Chrono Trigger. So last time, we were had to go to what was essentially the alternate version of the year 1000 as we took a trip through the multiverse, and we had to speak with someone who we've spoken with before, who told us that he needed a very rare rock that's so rare it's no longer found in his time. In fact, we had to go so far back that we are now currently in prehistoric times. And we have been able to meet up with the person who will become our next party member, Isla, although she's not officially a member of our party yet. We've been asked to come to her village here, and we're going to see if we can meet with her and everyone else to find out where we can find the item that we need, known as Dreamstone. So let's go ahead and speak. With Isla, wherever she is, it's going to be in one of these two huts. Okay, it's not in this one. Maybe they sell me stuff here. And no, I'm not. Do I look like a reptile to you? Drink sweet water? Okay. And yeah, I had kind of had a feeling like, will that give me a recovery? It will. Yeah, someone was telling me in the comments that I'm um, using... Um... Lightning can actually damage them more. Yeah, I know they do look odd, don't they? Chief has it. Alright. North of the village. Okay. Alright, I was thinking that the, it would be right here, but nope. <laughs> Alright, there's the chief's hut. Can we get anything from here in terms of shopping? Oh. Okay, so I guess we can only trade here, or barter, or something like that. Which I guess would make sense, given what time period we're in. Hey there, Isla. Good, Chrono, come. Night soon and ready for party. Come, Chrono. Oh, we follow you? Alright. Listen all, new friends here. Strong man, Chrono. Friends of Chrono, Marla, Luca, Unga. <laughs> now we dance. So we just watch this, or yeah, Chrono, eat, sing, dance. Do I actually get to eat anything that's in front of me? Hard to tell. Hello there. Good music. We passed down to many generations. Yeah, and I'm stuck on you. Can I speak to you from this side? I guess you say the same thing. Is that yours? You outsiders! But I like give party! Why? Yeah, she looks also eerily similar to Isla. Is that her sister? <laughs> And, uh, oh, they each say something different for the last line? Pretty much. And you say, no, yours is similar to person number one. And you say, speak like person number two. And you speak like person number three. Got it. <laughs> let's speak with Marlon Nuka. Come on, Chrono, let's party! She's getting an arrow too. They're twisting my arm. What? What are you doing? Oh, Marlon and I are gonna engage in conversation. And can I? Can I hear what you're talking about? Or is it a girl thing? Yeah, uh, not yet. Not yet. Anyway, this is fantastic. <laughs> well, Mar Luca's certainly not lacking in terms of enjoying herself. I 
want to dance too. Well, go ahead. So, oh, do we just keep let this keep going? Well, Marles and Luca are both dancing. How come I can't dance? Chrono, you try! Special Jurassic Pork Soup! Good stuff! I love fight reptiles! The leader, Azala! Very smart! Good thing it's not Azula. Only Nayoka village fight! No fight! Go to Laruba village! Don't know where the village is! Always hide! Azala want to destroy Ayoka and Naruba! But Isla no lose! Only when Isla dead give up! Enough! Meet Chrono today! Good day! Eat, party, sing, dance! Anything else? Chrono, you look for Red Rock! Yes, I do! Red Rock sign of power! Isla's strongest on Ayoka village, so Isla's rock! Oh. You want? You challenge Isla. You win, then Isla give to you. Challenge Isla! Alright. Am I gonna get my butt kicked? Bring plenty soup! Party now! So eat! Kono and Isla have soup race! Soup race? Oh, you mean button mashing? Oh god. Oh god. It's the one thing I have never been good at at all in my life, button mashing! <laughs> one thing I've never been good at my life at all is button mashing! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh boy. Can I have to do this? To win? The Rock? Yeah. Wait a minute, I beat her? What? He <laughs> lost both for health. Maybe too much. So did it actually work? Well, the next morning. Yeah, everyone's gone. What? Liar! I was the perfect lady last night. But why does my tummy hurt so? And... Marl? Morning, Chrono. Wasn't that fun last night? Yeah, but where is everybody? Hey, who made these footprints? It's gone! The gate key's been taken! Oh no. These prints were left by the thief! Without it, we're stuck here forever! This isn't funny. Let's go see Isla! Yeah, we better do so. Yeah, sleeping like a baby. Like, WAKE UP! Isla, damn it! This is serious! Uh, Chrono, you up already? <sighs> Too much soup. Sleep like stone. <sighs> Sorta of wake you, but we've been robbed! What the? Must be reptites! Kuno, come with Isla! We settle with reptites! Who else come? Oh yeah, you're gonna have me choose again. Alright. Yeah, I really need Marl's healing, so she's gonna have to be the one who sticks around with me. Someone from Village C. We go ask. Chrono, come! Alright. Yeah, we really need Isla's healing, or rather Marl's healing, so... Let's ask around. What do I have? Fang, Petal, Horn, Feather. Bring me three of any, each of any two items. I give you one weapon or one item. What do you give me? I think I have a few. What? You sure? I could have sworn I'd been collecting quite a few petals. Let me find out. Yeah, I have four petals. 
Unless I need three of each. And if that's the case, then it makes sense. And if I need three of each, then it makes sense. Recover some unknown. Well, if we don't know what it does, we'll po we probably shouldn't be using it. Anyone in the chief set that we can talk to? Nope. And I probably should talk to the villagers if I press the correct button. Yeah, because apparently left also equals down. Yeah. <laughs> Many things are trade. Yeah, I would actually. Petal and fang equals ruby gun. Petal and horn equals sage bow. Petal and feather equals stone arm. Fang and horn equals flint edge. Fang and feather, ruby vest. Horn and feather, rock helmet for trade. I tell you something good. Ruby vest strong against fire. Not too hot when wear. Interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but you have actual items. Alright. I think I'm good on that. Thanks. Thunder stun old dinosaur, you know? Thanks for the info. Alright, let's go down towards where these two huts are. Ooh, little girl. Me saw red tights. Came from meeting site. Went south to forest maze. Forest maze, huh? Yeah, I had a feeling I'd be looking at that passage. Where Kino? Gone all morning. I think it was time to put two and two together. Forest maze, scary place. Many monsters and paths to get lost on. Chief, be careful. Alright. Yeah, and I had a feeling that Isla was the chief. And you? Ooh, item. Oh. Daily footprint run run. Find, follow print, find lair. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Alright, so, yeah, I kind of had a feeling it would be down there. So let's go ahead and save. Footsteps, follow! <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised Isla actually has a higher experience level than I do. Which means I'm actually under-leveled going into this. Kino, what do you do? Say now! Isla, Kino take Chrono stuff. Why take? Kino like I love best. I don't like Chrono, but Kino not like. I love Mellow Wow! Kino, you know why I punish. I don't know like Kino. No, I don't like Kino best. No more do bad stuff, okay? That wrong. What have you got to say? Sorry, Isla. Sorry, Chrono. Give back stuff to Chrono. No, have. Reptites take. Yeah, it wasn't gonna be that easy. Reptites? where they go? Run into trees there. Isla go too. Kino go back village. Kino protect village when Isla not there! Okay, Isla. Kino is man, so if Isla die, Kino chief then. Kino doesn't look like a guy. Chief swept tights, get back chrono stuff. Yeah, Lee, let us do that. So we know where the footprints are starting off and going, but I want to see what's over here. So, because yeah, that's an actual chest, and we got a tonic out of it. Now, oh, okay, I see um something to climb down. All right. Oh, hold on. Enemies approaching. What do we got? Gold eaglets, huh? Was that Isla's attacking? 
Oh, wait a minute. I think we pissed it off. And I think Isla has a Berserk or something on her. Yeah, over here. 160. Yeah, take it out. So yeah, it seems like Isla will go wherever she wants. Alright. The way it looks when it turns red, it almost looks like the red angry bird. And it kind of makes sense because we did piss it off, even though Angry Birds came like nearly 20 years after this game. Actually, not even that much, maybe more like 15. I don't know, when, when did Angry Birds come out? Because that's probably more like 15 as opposed to 20. And th thankfully they don't hurt that much. Got a revival. Um, what about, when am I jumping? Okay, from over there, okay. Yeah, it's hard to tell sometimes because the greenery flush um, blends in really nicely in this place. Oh, hold on. Specchio, what are you doing here? And you brought a friend? Alright. Oh, you brought three friends. Actually, it's two friends, not three. But you know what I mean. And was that a one? Did I see Ala score for one damage? Or are my eyes deceiving me? Let's find out. Nope, my eyes are not deceiving me. I looked at the number I thought, like, was that a one? Thankfully it wasn't. Alright, claim another victory there. Ala learns kiss. Interesting. Oh, I thought that was a chest. Darn. We can't walk over or that way. Can come over here, though. Got this chest. Got another mid-tonic. Well, at least the items are known to us. Um, yeah, keep following footprints. Oh, what's next? Ooh, something big and scary this time. Winged ape? From this vantage point, just call it a dragon and it threw me into Isla. If I was seeing that correctly, it threw me into Isla. Which was pretty freaky. Well, Isla gets the job done here. So go Isla. Alright. Nothing over this way. Then I guess we're just gonna keep following. Get this chest over here. Maybe. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we're going under. Got it. And then... Oh, more Specchios and a Winged Ape. Alright. <sighs> Had to go get myself some water in between battles. My voice is fading again, it seems. Need to take cape. I need to take better care of my voice. I mean, after all, this is the thing that drives these videos. So yeah, we're kind of going through a maze here, and we have new enemies to fight. You are runners. Okay, actually, we've seen you guys before. We have seen you guys before, and you're not that dangerous. Or well, at least, not from what I've seen. Yeah, Counter-attack! Ha-ha! Counter-attack! Ha-ha! Alright, that tips it over. And Isla scores 73. And Chrono from behind. Can't quite get it down. I imagine we're close, but we're not there yet. I want to go... Oh, that's Isla in that position. I want to Aura Whirl. I want to Aura... I, I want to Aura Whirl first, then we will have Isla finish this thing off. I like the way that the shadows disappear after, or while you're in the middle of casting that ability. That's an interesting little touch, I like that. Wait a minute, no, I'm... Yeah, I got turned around here. There we go. Now, above or below? Well, we found pa pa We found footprints, and these guys. Yeah, Moral took a bit of a beating in that last fight. 
So that's why we're gonna give her a mid tonic. There we go. Get her a better, better chance of survival. Alright, so now that we've maneuvered our way through here, now we're going over this way. Alright. Oh, what's next? Oh, you guys again. And in that last battle, Chrono got a level. Can I go through here? I can. And that'll leave me out. Is there anything over this way that would be of interest? Not... Oh, yeah, yeah, there is. Got a mid-ether. Perfect. Alright. Looks like we missed the chest, but we're gonna move on. Alright, so we successfully escaped the maze. Yeah, I can always go back and get those things later. I can always still get back and go back and get those things later, but for now, I am content to take my recovery and call this an episode. Yeah, it looks like we're about to really get into the thick of it now, because now that we've cleared the maze, now we're gonna have to fight the reptites in their own lair if we wanna get our stuff back. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this Blind Nuts play of Chrono Trigger. And when I join you again, we will take on the Reptites and see if we can obtain our own stuff, as well as the elusive Dreamstone. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.